As a little child, oh my gosh, I remember when mom was home, the record player was going, the holidays, we had music. And if we were in a store and her music came on that she liked, she would dance in the store. Everyone thought Ruth is perfect for this program. She has a tendency to withdraw sometimes. I'll bring her her iPod and she usually starts singing, she starts dancing. Everyone notices. I've walked in and, I, and I've seen mom and, and she'll be in a state, you know, of just not there. They put the music on her and she snaps right back. We build these playlists with music that played at their wedding, with lullabies they sang to their babies, with songs they danced to at the high school gym. And they go there. My soul. Older adults with this dementia who get a personalized music program do better. They don't need as much medication. But it's more than just the medication. It's their quality of life. I am here because my memory is bad. And we need to adjust the headphones. But when the music starts, I can remember the time when the music was, when I sung it. If I'm down, it brings me up. And if I'm up, I go up higher. <laughs> the Department of Public Health came to the California Association of Health Facilities and asked us if we wouldn't apply for a grant. And I didn't want to just evaluate whether or not we got equipment to people. I wanted to evaluate does music and memory really do what we've heard it does for individuals? And how can we help nursing homes to adopt and sustain it? That's when I thought of the UC Davis team. Deb brings a, a long career of clinical expertise and hands-on experience working with older adults in nursing home settings. I bring a background in business and finance combined with my passion for long-term care, looking at the systems and infrastructures and the management team and their competencies that need to be in place to create a strong foundation for any quality improvement initiative. Historically, so many quality improvement projects they do great for the first six or eight months and then it falls off the cliff. We're collecting data early on to see how are they implementing, where are some of the gaps, and we're creating a resource manual to help support their implementation. We're also trying to see what works well. What could we capture in terms of knowledge so that we can spread that out to other nursing homes across the nation? <laughs> If we could wake up in the morning and hear that beautiful music and go to bed at night listening to it, it wouldn't be so much madness, so much anger. We need to be really focused on what's important for those residents. Can they get something out of that day that makes them happy? And that's the really, really important part about music and memory. I want to thank you guys for bringing that to her, for giving her those memories, and for giving her that time that she can go back to and find peace in it. Man River, that old man River, he just keeps coming along.